I have a set of HP EliteBook 840 G1s. These are from 2013 and they were destined for the trash bin. I was able to salvage these and so instead of them going to the trash heap, they are going to get a little bit more life put into them. They're going to get some upgraded parts and they don't really run Windows all that well anymore. So instead they're going to get Chrome Flex OS, which is Chrome OS used on Chromebooks but made for Windows architecture. The devices themselves are a little worn, but they should still be serviceable. They have decent port options with VGA, two USB, another two USB, full-size ethernet, display port and audio jack, charging, and even a dock if you wanted to go that far. But we're gonna open this up and take a look at the internals. To open this up, you're gonna slide this switch over to the side until you see the red, and then the back plate will pop out of place. Here we have our RAM slots, our removable battery, a slot for an M.2 SATA 3 SSD, and a standard SATA 3 slot. First, we are going to add in our SSD, which is going to be this 120 gig drive. To remove the battery, we're gonna make sure this locking pin is slid all the way to the left. We're gonna slide this one down and pull on the plastic tab and lift up. Normally, these would be screwed in place. However, the drive that was inside here was removed for disposal. And it looks like this drive caddy was damaged during the removal, so we're just going to set this to the side. Installing the new drive is incredibly simple. We're just going to line up our notches, slot the drive in, and slide it into place. With the battery that's going to be resting right here, that will be more than enough to keep this from sliding around. Taking a look at our RAM, this is a 4GB stick of 12800 DDR3 memory. Going through my stack of older hardware, I was able to find another 4GB stick of the same speed, though from a different manufacturer. However, these are going to run just fine in parallel. And then for the battery, we're just going to line up our two notches underneath, slide it into place and wait for the click. Then we will slide our locking pin back to the right. From here, the cover can be taken off and set back in place, and the sliding pin moved to the side. This device is now ready for an OS, and we're going to repeat these same steps on this second device. This is the drive that has Chrome OS Flex on it. If anyone's interested in how to create one of these, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video about that. But we're just gonna slide it into the USB drive. We're going to turn this on and spam the F9 key, which should take us into our boot menu. And from here, we are going to select our USB hard drive. And from here, we can begin to go through the startup procedure. We're going to do a fresh install of Chrome OS from this USB drive and we're going to click Install. And after a while, the installation will complete. And it is very important to remove that USB before you restart the device. And from here, you can sign in just like normal as you would on a Chromebook. And from here, they are now ready for use in whatever capacity they may be needed.